Hi guys, this is Anne from ducttapeanddenim.com and I am working on my green jewelry cabinet today and I thought I would show you how I'm using a rub and buff on it. I know I've had a few questions like when I post um, blog posts about projects I'm doing and that and I just mentioned that, I ha that I'm going to use rub and buff. People have asked me about it so I thought well I'll just pop in today and show you what I'm doing. And if you're joining us for the first time today, and if you want to get a notification next time we go live, just type the word live in the comments and you should, uh, you'll get a message from me that will explain what to do. All right. And when you come in, will you make a comment just so I can see if the comments are going to work? It looks like there's people here, but I'm not seeing any comments. So I just want to see if that'll work or not. Because I'm still using my new, uh, my new app and which means I can do a screen share so let me show you the piece that I saw on Pinterest okay can you see that on Pinterest this piece of green furniture that was my inspiration for this um, this jewelry cabinet I really loved how they had they distressed it so much and just hardly any of the paint was left I really like that Okay, hi Debbie. Good, I can see some comments. Thanks for doing that for me. Okay, great. Yeah, if you come on, let me know if you've ever used this product and if you use it the same way as me because I'm pretty sure that I don't do it the way that uh, the Rub and Buff company says to use it. <laughs> All right, hi. Good. Glad to have y'all here. Okay, so here is what my cabinet, jewelry cabinet looks like. And I showed this to y'all last week when I had that uh, remember that day that I went to the thrift store and accidentally bought three jewelry cabinets? <laughs> hey, I was looking for stuff for Jordan, which who, who may be on today, but instead of buying stuff for her, I bought three jewelry cabinets, but they were good deals, so, and the pieces were all together. All right, so let me show you up close. I thought I had finished, and then I decided I'm going to um, glaze it. So I, all that I've glazed so far are the drawers. So you can tell it's a little bit darker here in those lines than it is on the, the main part, like the door. The door isn't as dark as the drawers are. And all the handles were there. So here's up close. You can sell, see how dirty my hands are. And see, they've, they've got gold all over them. There's what they look like. So they're not going to look that much difference. But here's one. Where's the camera? With the gold rub and buff. This one does not have it on there. So you can just tell it's a little bit brighter. A little bit shinier. It's On this particular one, it's not going to be a big, huge difference. But you can also get rub and buff in different colors. The color I'm using today is antique gold. And see this? That's what it looks like. It comes in a little card. Um, you can get it on at your craft stores, probably a hardware store, or Amazon. And I can come back and leave a link to Amazon if y'all want. And I have had this probably three years, so it does not take much at all. So let me show you first. Okay, before and after. This is the one that has not been done. I've done all the other ones. And I haven't done this handle that goes here. Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> I haven't done the handle that goes on the door, but I'm going to glaze that first before I put that on. So, All right, so here's how I do it. And I'm pretty sure that they don't tell you to put it on your finger. Um, but that's how I do it. And see that little tiny bit right there? Oop. You can't even hardly see that, can you, on my finger? But that's all it takes. And I'm not going to work it down into all the little crevices. I'm just going to kind of hit the highlights on it. Okay, can you tell which side I did? I'm going to go over the back. Okay, that's the rub part. <laughs> it's one of the few things that the name of the product is how you use it. You rub it on 
with your finger. Now, if you are sensitive to stuff like this, because I think it does have some petroleum product in it. I mean, it has warnings on it, you know, flammable, maybe harmful if swallowed. Um, but I do, I do wash it off. You see how much is on there? It, I do have to scrub it a little bit, but I, it washes off. So that's after it, I rubbed it on there. I'll take my husband's t-shirt, shh, don't tell him, um, and find a clean spot on it because I've been using this for all my projects this week. And then I just kind of buff it. Rub and buff. That's all you do. And it is a metallic wax, so after you buff it, it gets really shiny. And like when, like when you wax furniture, it just gives you a really good finish. All right, there you go. That's how it looks. So I really like sometimes doing, you know what, I'm going to tilt it down a little bit because now I'm going to screw these in. Oops. So here's a close-up of what the finish went on the green wood and I distressed it pretty good and I glazed it. I feel like the light is reflecting off of that and not it's making it look lighter in this on the screen I think than it really is. Alright so to get these out though since I don't have handles I gotta dump them and hope the glaze didn't make them stick. And this is the one with the pink inside. And I haven't decided what to do with the door yet. It had glass, like a fake, uh, fake stained glass on it, so I did not like that. And I actually did something that I should not have done. I took the glass out and I threw it away. Usually I take the glass out and I uh, just keep it until I decide what to put in this door. And then I use that glass and I'll trace around it on the metal. So luckily these had little tiny, tiny screws. Can you see that? And so I have my little tiny screwdriver. So hopefully I can get this in with y'all watching me. Okay, so how many of y'all have used Rub and Buff? I know I saw somebody on there that said said they had. Oops. Of course, this is going to be... Let me turn that around. These are small, tiny little screws. So here, I'll get it up close so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, one time I'll have to tell you, I, I finished one of these and I put the handles back on, took all the staging pictures and everything. I might have even taken it to Pierce Flea Market to sell and then I realized I put all the handles on upside down. And I guess uh, nobody noticed because somebody bought it. <laughs> but I have to tell you a story about this color. I was hoping my sister would come on because this color reminds me of my bedroom furniture when I was in elementary school. My grandmother gave me a bedroom suit. I think that it might have been my father's but she bought it like in the forties. And when I was in first, when I went into first grade, they made a really big deal about it. And I got up until then I had shared a room with my brother and they made a really big deal about me going into first grade and I got my own room and I got this furniture set, bedroom set. There was a bed, a double bed and a dresser and a, a little vanity set. And my mom let me pick what color I wanted to paint it. And this was in the 70s. So I picked avocado green, which looks exactly like this, even though it's called enchanted green. <laughs> and they glazed it. And that was my furniture up until 
I got married even. And uh, when I took the furniture, me and my husband uh, refinished it later. But when I was in elementary school, my mom let me pick out the, the, my curtains too. And I picked out these uh, orange and green curtains <laughs> that went along with, that matched my avocado green furniture. So that was my bedroom suit growing up. And that is what this reminds me of. If it was just orange inside instead of uh, pink. So what do y'all think? All right, so you think you can try some rub and buff? Also, I want to tell you that um, this is the last day of January, and if you are in our uh, thrift store challenge group on Facebook, which I left a link in the uh, description of this video so you can find it, um, go, go there and click on that, and every month we're going to have challenge. Our January challenge was trays, so... Um, People have been sharing their tray makeovers, you know, that they find at thrift stores, or maybe you already have one. And uh, tomorrow we're going to announce what the uh, the challenge is for February. So come join us over in our group and share your pictures with us. And let me know what you think of my green and what you think I should put here in this door. Haven't decided that yet. Um, what else? Do y'all have any other questions? Maybe I missed some questions. I wonder if I can go back and look and see. I'm liking this new program. Okay. I don't see any questions. But if you have come in and you want to be notified next time I do a live video, just type the word live in the comments. Uh, Pamela says her tray is still wrapped. <laughs> Did you find a tray? Oh, wrapped in plastic. Did you find a tray at the thrift store? I still have two over here that I haven't done. So I might have to have another tray challenge later in the year. But uh, what else do you want to do challenges on? Do y'all want to do a challenge on jewelry boxes and jewelry cabinets? Would anybody here be interested in painting a jewelry cabinet? All right, well, just let me know in the comments. And if you join us, if you watch this later um, on the replay and you have a question about anything I've used in here or uh, if you can't find the thrift store challenge group, just let me know. I'll go ahead and leave a comment and I will come back and answer later. Hope you all have a good evening. I will talk to you all later. Bye.